Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love. Uh, today, I've got the pleasure of showing you a brand new 2022 Verona LE. Uh, this is the uh, 40 LRB model. It has a bath and a half setup. And uh, let's go ahead and get started right up front, as long as I'm here. First of all, this has got the Bright 9 uh, grill, and it also comes with the real cool American Racing wheels. We'll show you those when we're on the side. And this, uh, the Veronas and the Verona LEs are both built on an M2106 chassis, powered by a 350 Cummins. And uh, what we've got here, the nice thing about your your Super C's or these front end diesels is the ease of getting at the engine. You can see you can access everything. You've got your air filter right here, uh, your water separator filter. Here's your gauge. When you start getting a dirty air filter, you'll see a little yellow indicator creep up in that area. Um, coolant right here, all easy to access. Over here on the other side, uh, Once again, we have our power steering fluid fill. We have our uh, water separator here, uh, dipstick to, to check your oil. Everything is easy to get to. You can even stand up on the tire or up on the, on the bumper if you need to get access to the top of the engine. So if you're somebody that likes to you know, change your own oil, do a lot of the maintenance yourself, these Super C's are great for that. And another nice feature is this cab here. It's got a, uh, a soft close feature. The struts won't let it you know, fall down on your head if the wind's blowing real hard. There we go, great chassis. Again, this is a 40 foot on the M2106, 350 Cummins. This engine, uh, 350 horsepower, but it is the 8.9 liter. It develops about 1100 to 1150 foot pounds of torque. Um, one of the things I think people get confused about, especially with the diesels, when you're talking about horsepower, you can have a smaller engine, the ISB they call it, it's a 6.7 liter engine, and that can have 340 to 360 uh, horsepower, but it only has about 700 foot pounds of torque, 7 to 800. So this is an 8.9 liter, it's a bigger engine, it's only got 350 horsepower, and you might think, well, geez, that's, that's less than the smaller engine at 360, which is true. But horsepower can be, uh, you know, you can chip it. There's a lot of things you can do to increase your horsepower. But the torque is a factor of the size of the uh, engine. And with an 8.9 liter engine, uh, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque, roughly 20,000 pound towing, this is the kind of rig that can pull a 20,000 pound trailer up Eisenhower Tunnel. Where on those 360 horse engines, it's a smaller uh, displacement, a 6.7. You just don't quite have the torque to pull the heavy loads. Let's go ahead and walk down the side. First of all, I've got the awning out, great looking awning, uh, and it's a rooftop awning, not mounted on the side. You can see here the American Racing wheels. And then as we move back, you'll notice you have one fuel fill on the passenger side. You also have a fuel fill on the other side, and there is a tube that connects. There's two separate tanks. Uh, you have 100, uh, 100 gallons of fuel here. It's fastest to fill it from one side and then go fill the other side. That line connecting them is kind of a small diameter, so it takes a long time if you're trying to fill both tanks from one side. All right, let's show you the, uh, the storage. and. Normally on a lot of these coaches, I might leave the slide in till I do this because it's hard uh, to get them shut. Sometimes you have to slam them. It's not that way with the Renegade. First of all, I love their doors. Uh, you know, aluminum inside, heavily insulated, double latches all the way through. They're a great door. You can see up front here we have three uh, storage compartments. Of course, in the first one, we have our Aqua Hot, and this is one of the upgrades you get with the Verona LE over the Verona. This is a 450 Aqua Hot as opposed to the 250. And again, 
It's so easy to shut these doors. I don't have to climb underneath and try to slam them to get them to close. Okay, we've got 32 inch Samsung TV, a smart TV right here with a sound bar. This actually pulls out so you can tilt it. And uh, this sound bar here, uh, it has Bluetooth. Uh, you, can, you can pipe in your own music to this if you want to play it outside. This is the uh, anthracite paint job. Nice grays and black, really a nice look with a full body paint, of course. As we move down a little bit farther, this is another large storage compartment. And what you're seeing in here, first of all, Renegade provides an air hose for you. You do have a compressor on board. It's convenient for filling tires or water toys or things like that. These here are uh, travel bars. They're kind of lockout bars that would go on the slides if you want to make sure they're not kind of bouncing out as you go down the road. That really isn't an issue, but they provide those bars for you anyway. And then one more storage compartment here. And you can see we've got our, uh, our hoses and tools for our central vacuum. The central vacuum is right up here. And it's nice to be able to clean out your compartments. These are all nice carpet line compartments. Then you've got a hook up inside also for your vacuum. And then they do provide you with a few extra tiles. Outside shower over on this side. As we move around the back, it's a great looking cap. And uh, a couple of things I'll point out, and I really like this about Renegade, this isn't one solid piece, it's two pieces. So if you have a little fender bender or somebody hits you here in the corner, this is the only place that's going to get damaged. It's not going to affect it up here. So, it, you know, quite a bit less if you end up having to repair that. Uh, the thing these uh, front end diesel, the Super C's are designed for is towing, number one. And you can see we have a heavy duty three inch uh, hitch here. And we've got a, a two and five sixteenths ball and a two inch ball on the other side. Or you can get the reducers here to step it down to two inch. Then if you're uh, towing with a blue ox hitch or any traditional uh, uh, two inch insert, you can make it fit in there. You also have a hookup for your uh, Voyager if you've got a, another um, camera maybe you're putting on the back of a stacker trailer and want to monitor it inside. You have your seven way plug right here. This exhaust is actually for your diesel, uh, or for your uh, generator, I mean. And as we move around, I'll show you that. It is a diesel generator, by the way. Uh, 8,000 watt, quiet, owning diesel. Provide all the power you need to run both your air conditioners, your microwave, everything all at once. And then over in this compartment, you can see we've got our power cord. It is on a reel. That's very handy this time of the year as it starts getting colder. Those 50 amp cords can be tough to wrestle around with. You also have your, uh, your surge protector and your relay switch in there. As we move down here, this is our water compartment. And uh, you can see you've got your dump valves right here, although the dump itself is in the next compartment over. Low point drains. You do have a spigot here if you want to uh, hook up a hose and hose something down. And you also have a power hose reel. You can see the, the switch right there. The hose actually kind of tucked away back here. But your water hose is also on a power reel. And this is a little storage for your sewer hose. But everything, you know, real convenient to access. Uh, there is some radiant heat down in here. You also have a whole house water filter. And like I said, this is your where you would hook up your hose. And you could hook it up and drop it down here and then run it out to your drain. Uh, Again, the valves are in this front compartment. This is where the actual drain is. Here you don't have a lot of storage in that one. That's your uh, tank, one of your uh, gray or black tanks. And again, this one has 75 gallons of gray water, 75 gallons of a black water tank, and 150 gallons of fresh water tank that I'll show you when we get inside. That's two separate 75 gallon tanks. 
No, no. Over in here, another large storage compartment. And up here on the top, we have our 3,000 watt magnum inverter. Uh, and then we also have our solar uh, uh, controller unit in here. Now, one thing about this unit, as an option, we chose the 375 watt solar panels. So you've got 525 watts of solar. And along with that, instead of the standard 8D AGM house batteries, we opted for the lithium ion. And uh, this one actually has three lithium ion batteries you can see there. I believe those are 260 amp hours each. So you're pushing almost 800 amp hours uh, of your lithium ion batteries here. If you were out dry camping and you wanted to, uh, you know, run your 110 appliances, you could do that for a long time off your inverter with this uh, this much battery power. And then these other two batteries on the side, those of course are your chassis batteries for starting the motor. And then again over here we have a fuel tank and then we do have a DEF. You only put the DEF in on one side. So with 150, or 100 gallons of fuel, that's probably about a 10 or 11 gallon DEF tank right there. You also have a plug here. If you want to uh, preheat your engine, you can run an extension cord here, start up your generator and provide power to heat the engine if you so choose. Uh, this does have the three-way camera system. You can see here is your side camera. That's nice, uh, not only when you're maneuvering in traffic, but when you're backing into a really tight spot at a park, you can look down that side of the coach and see how close you're getting. Okay, let's go around inside and take a look at this floor plan. As you can see here, we do get a heavy duty grab handle and this does have a keyless entry, make it easier to get in and out. One other thing I'll kind of point out while we're out here and talk more inside. This comes with the Vega Touch app. I've already got it on my phone and uh, see it's asking for me to pair the signal right here. When I was setting this up, I went through and opened the slides, opened the awning, leveled everything right here. You can see I can turn all my lights on. Uh, I went to my levelers, confirm it, and then I was able to level the coach from out here. And I can even manually adjust them, which I do because we're on quite a, a bit of a slope here. So get the hang of using this app. It makes it really easy when you set things up. Let's go ahead and go inside and I'll close the door behind us. And again, as long as we're right here, before we go on to the floor plan, let's go to the monitor panel here and let me show you again what I was talking about. So this is your Firefly panel. Uh, you see you got your master lights on and off, your gray tank, uh, uh, black tank and freshwater tank monitor, your house batteries. If I go to settings and then I hit mobile app, what you do is you search for this unit. I've already done that. This is the pin code you put in. And then once I'm paired, everything that, that you see here, all of these lights, I can, I can do the same thing right here on my phone. And like I say, the, you know, some of these things, it's not hard to walk up and, and turn the lights on from the panel. But the thing I really like is when you're, when you're outside, again, and you want to level it and you want to see am I level or do I need to lower the back end a little bit. It's hard to run back and forth. You can do it from your app. Also the same with your slides and your awning if you're worried about hitting a tree. Uh, it's nice to be able to sit right there and watch it. So that's enough about our Vega Touch, but it's a great feature that the Renegades have. Okay. Well, I mentioned this was the uh, anthracite exterior and the interior, this is the uh, river stone, they call it, and it's the honey uh, nutmeg cabinetry, beautiful cabinetry. I really like the look of this, and I am so sorry about that. I, uh, I knew that would happen if I was going to show the Vega Touch. <laughs> um, so here we are, three slide outs. This is the 40 uh, LRB, and 
in the uh, in the living room slide, you do get a dinette. This does convert to a sleeper. And you have a nice height of bed sleeper in here that pulls out. So you do have a couple nice extra sleeping spots. And look at the storage in here. I mean, there is a lot of room. And I love the fact that these are open. So if you have longer items, you can get them in there without any any trouble. Again, beautiful cabinet work. It's all solid wood. There's no wrap style here. Hidden hinges, uh, hidden hardware in it. Renegade has been building the Super Seas for a long time. This is the only product they make. They have great interiors and they really do a nice job. We have the day night shades throughout. These are manual, so you have a blackout or just the day shade. Let's continue working our way up here. Up front, we've got, uh, on this cabinet, we've got our resettable fuses here. And then we do have a Wi-Fi system. And this panel, you get a little bit of storage, but you also have your, your equalizer system. That switch up there is for the cab lights if you want to override them and, and turn them off. And then over here, you do have our 110s. Everything is labeled, so if you're having trouble with your air conditioner, it's not coming on, come over here and check the fuse first thing, or the breaker. All right. Let me hop in here and just go over a few items on the dash. Uh, First of all, you do have an air ride seat, and these seats, I've had some people ask me about it. You know, it's designed for the trucking industry, and they do have what they call a chucker. It, you know, it kind of smooths out the ride on a, on a bumpy road. You can lock that down so it doesn't move for you. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to point out, this has got your, uh, your uh, collision avoidance system, blind spot monitoring, uh, you know, active cruise control. And when you turn the unit on, you can hear them fire up. And I'm gonna do that. Give it a minute and our Wabco, there we go. So that's your sensors on each side. You've got sensors that are looking out to the sides, monitoring your lane, traffic beside you. You've got one up front here. So if you are in cruise control and you start uh, speeding up on traffic, it's gonna slow you down. Uh, this is your collision mitigation system. And you can shut this off. You can override it. The lane alert here is something people uh, turn off. If you're switching lanes and you have your blinker on, it's not going to give you a signal. But if you cross that uh, lane line or the center line, it starts giving you a signal, so a lot of people will turn that off. Uh, we do have our engine brake, a high and a low. And then uh, the suspension height. This is something that they added. You can actually dump your airbags in the rear. The front of these are a shock and leaf spring. The rear is an airbag. The reason you might want to do that when you get on a hill, you obviously want to uh, dump your airbag first before you level. That way you've got more travel, more room to, to get the coach level. You also have a TPMS uh, monitoring system for your tire pressure gauges. You have a, a switch here if you hook up a camera on a trailer in the back. You can watch that up here from the front also. And then these are just window switches, door locks, mirror heat. Everything's basically pretty simple. It's got a nice Garmin radio here. This has your GPS, your, uh, your navigation, everything built in right here. And you can actually take it off and use it like kind of a little uh, uh, pad there. Then over on the left side, you've got your cruise control. You set that right here. You have your light switches, your increase, decrease on the cruise control. Like I say, it's a pretty basic dash. You also have a pedal here that's going to tilt and telescope your steering wheel for you. So all in all, very comfortable, uh, very comfortable cockpit area. You do have adjustable armrests here, so you can 
move these up and down and you have the armrests on both sides. So once you get going down the road, uh, even though this is a truck chassis, you can be very comfortable and drive a long way in this. All right, let's move over to the kitchen. Now this is our 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. This is an electric refrigerator. And, uh, there we go. There we go. Didn't have that lock open. Looks like they gave you a little extra fitting there. Nice little tray here in your freezer area so you can see there's plenty of storage. And, you know, very easy to reach everything. You can get a gallon of milk in this big one over here. And these all have travel locks so when you're on the road, you can lock those in and they won't come out on you. Right next to the refrigerator, you have your pull-out pantry. And uh, a lot of room there. I can't say enough at, at how nice these cabinets are. Renegade does a really nice job with their woodwork. Over here, you can see we've got our convection microwave. Seldom are you going to, uh, to find a uh, oven in these units anymore, but you can, you know, bake your cookies and do your chicken and so forth in here. It works like a regular oven. And then down here on your cook surface, we do have a true induction two burner range. Now true induction, uh, basically you can use any type of pan that a magnet will stick to. So if you've got your old cast iron, that'll work on here. They do make induction, uh, cookware but a lot of your older stuff will work also and again with that three lithium-ion batteries the 525 watts of solar the 3000 watt inverter you can run all this off your batteries for quite a long time got a little storage there three nice drawers here in the kitchen and as you can see we get some remotes here couple of this looks like an antenna must be for uh, the AM or the Cirrus maybe an extra filter you do have a whole house water filter some touch-up paint for the outside and all of these are soft closed drawers a lot of room under the sink that's your subwoofer down there on the left but I like the fact they give you plenty of room to have a trash can in here and still enough storage for all your cleaning supplies or dog food or whatever other items you might keep down here. And, and then right above, we have a nice undermount sink. It's a big, uh, just a single sink here. Easy to brush everything into the sink when you're cleaning it off. You do have a nice residential style sprayer. And then above here, we've got Another storage compartment, and of course, that's all your uh, owner's manuals and warranties and everything right here. There's your Garmin manual for your navigation. Okay, over here we have our uh, entertainment system, and this is a 42-inch TV that does pull out and pivot with its own sound bar. And again, you can Bluetooth in your own music if you want to use that sound bar. Oh, one thing back here, let's pull this out a little farther. Notice you do have some storage. And, uh, there we go. There's, there's actually quite a bit back there. And you've got a door on the other side also. There we go. And then underneath, you get a couple more pull-out drawers. Again, all soft clothes. Oh, I was trying to figure out what these are. They're actually your glass for the electric fireplace if you want to put them down there. Now, this electric fireplace is actually about a 5,000 BTU electric furnace. 
that's enough to heat your living room and your kitchen area. If it's a day like today, it was chilly, probably down around 30 degrees this morning. Uh, it's maybe only, you know, in the mid 40s right now. You can heat this coach electrically. You've got this uh, fireplace here. You've got heat pumps on your two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. And again, you can run all these off your inverter with the batteries. You don't even need to be plugged in. Or just turn on your generator, and then you have all of the 110 power you need without using your batteries. Okay, moving back, we've got a, a half bathroom here. I guess I'll get in and open a couple of these cabinets so you can see what we've got. get out of your way there's a couple of more cabinets in here and this is a porcelain bowl toilet and it's a macerator toilet so you're kind of chewing up uh, your solid waste uh, before it goes down into that black tank it makes it easier to drain completely you do have a black tank flush outside in your water compartment so when you hook up the hose to wash out your black tank you empty it more completely with that macerator toilet when we move back here you can see we do have washer dryer The stackable ones are, are so much better than your combination units that take such a long time to do a cycle, and it's a very small cycle. As we come into the bedroom here, uh, we do have a king bed. It's a 72 by 74 inch king bed over here. You've got windows on both sides that open. You have uh, USB ports and a 110 outlet on both sides. A little pedestal here if you've got a, a sleep apnea machine or something you use at night or just want to put your cell phone up there charging. And then also under here you've got a panel. This actually is removable. I'm not going to do it right now. But you can turn your lights off if you forgot to shut them off when you went to bed. You can hit, uh, you know, shut off and it'll turn the lights off in the entire coach. Again, we get some very nice storage, and this is one solid uh, cabinet here. Doesn't have partitions between the styles, and I kind of like it this way. And then as we look under the bed, there's our water tanks. Now, there is a pole here that I can put it down so I don't have to sit here and hold it up. But one nice thing about having a, a 150 gallons of water that's all inside, you're not worried about freeze-ups. You can see your pump is right here. Uh, winterizing it makes it very easy. And it's easy to drain these. You know, you've got your drains, your bypass valves, everything right here. They do have a little recirculator uh, pump, you know, heat uh, being pumped down in here. Then over here across from the bed, we've got our wardrobe area. Now this one you get, you know, a shirt closet here and four really nice deep drawers. Again, all of these are soft clothes, so a lot of storage right there. Over here in the middle, you get another 32 inch TV. And again, the day night shades throughout. Down in this compartment, you have sort of a video compartment here. Uh, this does come with an in-motion satellite, but not the satellite box. So if you want to get direct or dish TV, uh, hook up your video components here. And then below that, we have two more huge drawers. You get a lot of things in there. And then when we get over on this side, this is kind of a kind of unique in that I can remove this panel. You see there's another bar there, but say you've got evening dresses or long formal wear. You can take this out and let them hang all the way down. And again, look how they, they use great hinges and they're all hidden. You don't see any of this stuff. Uh, another thing, uh, these inserts here they're not solid glued in. They're actually in a little track. There's little expansion balls 
and as as you go from maybe a warm moist climate to a colder drier one your wood's going to expand and contract a little bit by having these inserts mounted in with those uh, with those little expansion balls you don't separate your corners it has room for it to expand and contract and again just going back to the job uh, Renegade does with their interiors with their woodwork this really is a beautiful coach okay now your main bathroom is back here if you come back you can see we've got a a radius corner shower with a really nice one-piece fiberglass surround and with that little uh, a skylight up here I'll, I'll step in here I'm about 5'8 you can see how much room I've got so somebody you know 6'2 six, 6'3 six, gonna very easy uh, easily uh, gonna be able to get in here and and take a shower and then Over here we've got our sink, some storage down below. You can see you've got some drain valves there. You've got a nice size medicine cabinet. More storage over here. You have one more storage uh, cabinet up here. And then down here by the sink, you've got a lot of counter space. Uh, you've got a nice accent light here, some shelves right there. Very roomy, comfortable bathroom with a lot of storage. You do get a fantastic fan in the bathroom. Also have one in the kitchen. And, of course, there's a nice uh, fan over the bed. So on those hot days, you can have a nice breeze blowing on you. Well, I think that's just about it. Uh, I guess a couple of things I didn't point out. Number one, you've got tile floor, and this is a high polish uh, tile. Very great looking floor with accent lighting under your toe kicks. And uh, I think that's about all I wanted to cover today. Let me give you my contact information. Again, my name's Mark Love. You can call me on my cell phone or text if you have questions, 970-631-0083. Uh, winter is coming on, but it doesn't much feel like it here in Colorado. We seem to be 50, 60 degrees quite a bit, but uh, come on down. We've got a lot of inventory. Uh, if you have questions or you wanna get something on order for next year, we're doing that right now. Uh, once again, folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm Mark. Uh, until next time, happy trails, y'all.